Have you ever wondered how to make something that will make you completely waterproof and fireproof? But well, you came to the right spot because DIY will be a bat! Aerogel. Have you ever heard of it? I mean, you better have heard of it because I made a video on it. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make aerogel in your own house with a few ingredients. But first, I gotta learn how to make it myself. This is tetramethyl orthosilicate. What did he just say? That was the most syllables I've ever heard in the word. Also known as tetramethoxysilate. Oh, yeah. Tetramethoxysilate. That's the street word for it. Of course, yeah, that's the nickname. Most chemical supply houses will not ship to individuals. I hate when that shit happens. Why does this guy look like my war zone skin? What is this? Okay, okay, so there's two ways to make this stuff. It's either you make it like him, but there's no way I'm doing that. Or you make it like this. All you need is three ingredients. Cornstarch, baking soda, and regular white glue. How hard could it be? You know what I mean? Like, anyone can do it, right? Uh, smash the like button. Mom, tell them. We've been getting DIY work. No, no, smash the like button. Smash the like button. That's it. Smash the like button. And turn on my post notifications, because if you miss a fucking video, I'm coming to your house personally and greeting you with a warm hug. Fill up half of your cup with cornstarch. Mom, focus. Stop cutting the dog. Jesus this Christ. Anyways, let me do mine first. Give this dog to me. No, no, no. Sit by me. Even the dog. Dad's got too much. How are we gonna not do this equally? We each have different visions on what happens. I see things half full, you see things half empty. No, I don't. After you've done half a cup of that, we're gonna grab the baking soda. One tenth of the amount of baking soda. It's too much. Nah, don't worry, that's good. Take that. There you go. Now the third and final step. Add glue to this. My mom told me to pick up white glue. As opposed to what? Black glue. But you're gonna add just enough so that your mixture starts turning into putty. Like this. Mine's definitely too thick, so I'm adding more glue. This is looking like some nice marshmallowy vibe. Did they sabotage me? I didn't touch yours. How did my mixture go from here to here? You fucking sabotaged me. I did not. not. No one sabotaged me. <laughs> you pass the glue. So my party looks really nice. My mom's is looking. Great. My dad's is looking because he copied me. I didn't copy. Are you science? So what does the baking soda do? I don't know. Now that everyone's aerogel is complete, now we have to test them out. This is not technically aerogel. Hey, who man is this? This is not technically aerogel. I swear to God, my dad was a kid in high school who snitched on people for not having the hall pass. This is technically the ghetto version of aerogel. Yes, it is. Not too long ago, I dropped a video showing you guys that aside from being the lightest solid in the world, it's also extremely heat resistant. So we have three plastic cups and we are going to see if our creation can protect our cups. Where's my gas gas? Just the corner of your plastic cup. Make sure your cup is like this. Too um, much burning. There's no burning. You said burning. There's gonna be no burning. Alright, we're gonna use this torch. Oh. <laughs> my dad's cup is the first one we're gonna test. Stay a safe distance away because obviously we're safe on my channel. Boom! Uh -huh. Don't even know why I can I'm not gonna burn anything. Okay. If it can last 10 seconds without burning the cup, you win. Nine. Oh my god! Boom! You'd think this is hot. It's literally not even warm. Your aerogel passes the test. Now let's see if you could drink from it. Literally no leakage, guys. There's absolutely no leakage. Take it a fist. Now let's see if mine works. 10, 9. That's 10 seconds. It's literally cool to the touch. Feel that. There's absolutely no holes in there. Definitely no holes. So me and my dad are tied so far. How are we tied? You got a hole in here too. Yeah, because you burnt. Not even close to where this was. I aimed at it. Yours just happened to be back. Oh! Okay. I can smell running. You always say you can smell. I'm smelling. My mom's cup. 10. Two, one. I'm stressed. Let's double check this. Oh my god. My mom wins round one. Moving on. Can it protect the two things that we tested out in the last video? Chocolate and crayons. You're gonna start the second round. Great. I have a little makeshift thing I made over here to hold the homemade aerogel. Two things that melt extremely fast. So if the heat resistance on this homemade aerogel is strong enough to protect them, it passes the test. What's happening? So you're like that. It's gonna fall down. Girls. By the way, guys, just to show you what would have happened if we just heated the plastic up. Instant burning. <laughs> You? Yes. you want kisses or Crayola? Crayola? Let's see if you can protect this. Five, nothing, four, two, one. Moms might be winning today. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Congrats, here's your present. Psych, I need that back. Why does yours look so dry? It looks like a shortbread cookie. Might have needed more glue. Bruh. Regular crayon on top, face through the bottom. Six, five, one. Succeed. Good course. job. Even of course. <laughs> looks like it's my turn. Just to show you guys how confident I am, I'm gonna use barely any of mine. I trust my products. I'm the DIY god. Some respect to my name. Who is talking? Check it. Yeah, let's check it. No melting. Hershey kiss. Nothing is melting in the Hershey's kiss. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You can smell. It's looking promising so far, guys. Look at this. The Hershey's kiss is like, oh, I'm post. Yeah. Everything are. <laughs> Everything around it's burning. Oh my god. The Hershey's kiss is fine. Literally no melting. Okay, you passed the test. Yeah, the top was melting, but there's nothing. The top was melting. Yeah, because I was Everything touching it before. Can I get a base check? Spotless. It's melted. Why would it melt from the top down? I don't know. Exactly. Science. Before we move on to the waterproof test, the last test that the guy did in the video, aside from the one where he literally put it on his hand and blasted fire directly on his hand. 
Cold to the touch. Bruh. Uh, I'm out, man. That nigga's trip. Can your homemade aerogel powder do stuff? Withstand heat to the point where it doesn't let an egg cook. Yes. Yes. Guys, can you comment down below? One of these things is not like the other. Can you tell me which one is not the egg? It's extremely difficult. Okay, so it's actually this one. This is not the egg, guys. As you guys can see, this one, in fact, was aerogel. I'm gonna do mine first. Wrap the egg. We're doing 30 seconds as opposed to 10 seconds. Do you think it'll last 30 seconds? So I think you're gonna light your paper towel thing on fire. No confidence in me. Anyways, <laughs> without further ado, come on, come on, come on. We got this all day. This is carbon building up, by the way. Science. Five seconds left. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please. What the f was that? 30 seconds is done. Okay, let me do something. Help. <laughs> that was worth that. Burnt marshmallows. You smell like burnt marshmallows. And I, oh. Did mine pass the test? It's completely wrong, but I knew that because mine's nice. You let me know where you want me to shoot fires. So that looks like a golf ball. Right there. Five, four, tennis time. This is my dad after he goes for a five minute tan. Cold to the touch, which is fine. Cold to the touch. Boom. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> hey, Manny, your turn. Three, two, one, boom. Is there even an egg in here? What did you put in here? Congratulations, you DIY'd something. But is it waterproof? To do this, we're gonna need a lot of aerogel. The two best things that I could compare it to to see if it really is waterproof is Play-Doh and that putty stuff that you buy in those eggs from the dollar store. So to start, this is what happens when you put putty underwater, just like that. Water definitely grips to it, so that does not pass a water test. Play-Doh, same thing, it's super wet. What does aerogel get wet? As you guys can see, what is happening? Got a little bit wet. I mean, I think we might have screwed up the ingredient. <laughs> One sec, how stupid can I be? I know why it didn't work. First of all, we didn't use the entire thing, okay? This is this DIY giant aerogel, this is not regular. Regular size aerogel. Second reason is, did you guys all hit the like button and turn on post notifications? That's why. See, there was like three of you that didn't do it. So I'll just wait a sec. Okay, you did it? Lit. It's bound to work with my secret ingredient. Second waterproof test. You guys already know how we do on my channel. <coughs> What's that? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure you're not recording this? It's not waterproof at all. No, it's not working. <laughs> Can you come give them a demonstration? Walking with this in your hand, like, oh my god, buddy! Whoops! Is it still wet? It's pretty waterproof, actually. What? I don't even see that. It looks so wet. Honestly, I don't even want to talk about that. Can you grab the Play-Doh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Put this Play-Doh in my water! Can you do That's that again? Whoops! Okay. I hate it's when it's it's slimy. We're gonna do it with the aerogel. DIY, of course. You're walking and I'm like, oh! Bruh. <laughs> No, Come no, on, mom. No. Making this too easy on me. Who gets deeped out like that? Mom, you're never gonna learn. <laughs> <laughs> Completely right. waterproof. Is it not dry? Yeah, it's, it's super dry. Whoa. What? Really crisp. Super dry. It's actually so dry, you would think it looks wet. Like, that's the craziest thing. The homemade aerogel doesn't work. Even through the plastic wrap, it still is kind of wet. There's no way. But it does withstand fire, and that's the important part. That's why we test these things out. Is it waterproof? Is it fireproof? You know what I mean? We learn. Fireproof? Yes. Waterproof? Yes. Depending on what your definition of yes is. And just to show you guys how much I trust my own stuff, it's my iPhone. You can see it turns on. Make sure to watch more of my banger videos. As always, be savage. Let go. It's been about a minute so far. <coughs> Comment the next DIY banger. All right, see ya. Thank you.